Hey guys, this is Chris from CarScan, and today we're going to show you how to use this Bluetooth OBD2 scanner to read and erase your check engine lights as well as uh, have real time information about your car using this app on Android called Torque. So, first off, you want to pair this device to your phone. So, what you do is turn your car into the on position. Don't turn on the engine just yet. Once it's on, you can plug your OBD2 device in. The port is usually right under your steering wheel at knee level. Mine's right here. Um, on some cars, it can be in different places. On older Hondas, I've seen it on even the passenger side, right below the glove box. So if you're unsure, Either contact your manufacturer, your car manufacturer, or use Google and try to find it. So just plug it in, you see that the power button is on, and you should be able to pair it with your uh, Android phone. So back at the phone, go into your Bluetooth settings. Make sure that the phone is on, or the Bluetooth is on. And then you click search for devices, you can see you already found the OBD2 scanner device. Just select that and I'll ask for a pin code. A pin code for this one is 1234 and you can see it's paired. Now after you paired it you can download a free app on the Play Store called Torque and just search for Torque. Uh, there's a paid version and then there's a Torque Lite which is a free version and torque light is usually enough for most people to check their engine codes as well as erase them and also check out what real time data they have as acceleration and revs and speed so I recommend uh, trying out torque light first and if you want the pro version you can pay for that later so once you get torque light open the program press ok now what you want to do is select the Bluetooth device that Torque Lite will be used with. So click on the menu button, go to more, and settings. Now scroll down, and you can change any of these settings if you're in the States or if you're in Canada or anywhere. Uh, make sure this connection is Bluetooth scroll down to device and then select OBD2 it should be there if you've paired it and then go back now I should say connected to OBD interface and you can see on the um, OBD2 scanner itself it will start blinking the OBD2 light and also the PC light and then it should say connected to ECU. Now what you can do is turn on your car or you can just check for um, pending cell lights, go to actions, show log faults, and it says no faults on my car. Now sometimes when you're connecting for the first time on Torque Lite to your uh, scanner, it might prompt another pin code. So just enter 1234 again, and then it should connect. Um, sometimes it will not connect until you turn the car on. So you have to have the engine running. And remember to do that in a well-ventilated area so you don't breathe in the exhaust fumes. Um, otherwise, it should connect and now you can have real-time data you can add whatever you want whatever dials or graphs by pressing the menu button and add display so let's say I want a RPM graph so just type and then the size so now I have a rev dial and that's pretty much it now when you're done with it you can just pull it out uh, remember not to leave it in when your car is off because there is continuous power going to this port as I'll show for you. So 
So I've turned the car off, key is out, and you can see the light is still on. So you want to take this out when you're done with it so it doesn't drain the battery overnight. Thanks for watching.